typical comfort is both PB and J, but I will do peanut butter and honey. Never peanut butter by itself, though. Honey. My mom would pack my brother and I lunches every single day, and you know, there are two of us, there are twins, so the easiest thing she could make for us would be PB and J sandwiches, and I probably had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day, year round. It's personal in a way. Every day. My friends, be honest with me. How common was this actually in America? So when you are a kid, you it was common for you to have uh, peanut butter every day. Because this is a big shock to me. Peanut butter was not that common uh, uh, in my country, you know. Man, this is crazy. Today I'll be reacting to why Americans are obsessed with peanut butter. My friends, first of all, do you guys think that's true? But uh, before I go into that, uh, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, uh, thank you so much. It's the best way to show support. Uh, now, if you can subscribe, uh, well, in that case, uh, forget about it. Uh, you make my day. F, that in consideration. Uh, link for the original video in my description. And uh, let's play it. From children, to astronauts, to soldiers, what? to presidents. <laughs> Peanut butter's popularity has transcended time and literally space. Really? Reigning supreme is one of America's favorite staples, and cementing its legacy as a mainstay in the minds and stomachs of millions for more than a hundred years. Okay. During difficult. Okay, okay. Before we go to the president and CEO of National Peanut Butter, no peanut board. Okay, not peanut butter. Uh, interesting, uh, you know, job. Uh, let me say one thing. Peanut butter. When I was a kid, was not was not that popular. Real talk. Even nowadays, there is a lot of things that are quite more popular than uh, peanut butter. But I think this is completely different in America. Peanut butter is really, really popular. Am I saying something crazy? No, right? Because the title says American are obsessed. Times you tend to go back to something that makes you uh, that gives you comfort. And is it comfort peanut food? butter is the ultimate comfort food in America. Mm. While the price of commodities as a whole Wait has steadily increased... Wait a second. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's actually very stable, comparing with the other things. Okay, this is really, really good news. Over the past 20 years, peanut butter's average price has remained relatively stable, costing about 20 cents a serving in 2023. And for such an old product, it's constantly being reinvented. Candies, oh. snacks, and even the classic PB&J. It's a $2 billion industry. With the 90%. $2 billion? Holy sweet peanut butter. Household penetration today, uh, that's very high penetration. It's unique taste. So, you know what? I know I'm going to pause a lot on this video, but this is interesting. Nutella, for example, is quite more popular than uh, peanut butter. Here. And I think that this, that's not the case at all uh, in America. Uh, for example, I actually I have Skippy at home. But I have to go to a specific supermarket in my city to get this. Not all supermarkets have American brands. And uh, the um, peanut butter we have here, I don't think is as good as the American. Even though some people disagree, but I, I like the American uh, version. Taste, smell, and texture are unforgettable. I love peanut butter. I have since I was a kid, like peanut butter and jellies. Typical comfort is both PB and J, but I will do peanut butter and honey. Never peanut butter by itself, though. Honey. My mom would pack my brother and I lunches every single day, and you know there are two of us, there are twins, so the easiest thing she could make for us would be PB and J sandwiches, and I probably had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day, year round. It's personal in a way. Every day, my friends, be honest with me. How common was this actually in America? So when you are a kid, you it was common for you to have. Uh, peanut butter every day, because this is a big shock to me. Peanut butter was not that common uh, uh, in my country, you know. Uh, nowadays, I actually believe it's more common than it was when I was a kid. Man, this is crazy. Reporting on the nostalgia and thinking about my own child. And you know what? Let's run. Leave a like if you enjoy uh, the PBG sandwich, because that way I also would know how popular that, that, uh, that the sandwich was, is... <laughs> Year round. It's personal in a way, reporting on the nostalgia and thinking about my own childhood and all the times I eat it, and maybe thinking a little bit about why I might like peanut butter as much as I do. Okay. 
Man, this video is great. <laughs> Wait, we are going to talk about brands? Skippy tends to be the best one, right? This is one of America's most popular brands, Skippy's Peanut Butter Factory in yeah. Little Rock, Arkansas. Americans bought almost 800 million pints of peanut butter in 2022 alone, up 2.2% from the year prior. Oh, it's going Something in. naturally just causing us to never tire of the taste and the flavor of peanut butter. In fact, 2022 was an all-time record in peanut butter consumption in America. Total revenue from peanut butter sales surpassed $2 billion in 2022, Damn. up 8.7% from 2021. But the top three brands are Jif, Skippy, and Peter Pan. The Jan Wait a second, my friends. I never had Jif. What? Oh my god, now I feel like I'm missing something in life. Jif, uh, should I try... The thing is, to buy GIF, I think I have to go to a really crazy website that imports things to my country. Because I, I Skippy, I can find it, but I never saw GIF. But see, so, be honest with me. Is GIF much better than Skippy? Or, or do you guys think I'm not missing out that, that much? Because this is a big number. Maybe it's a bit cheaper than Skippy. Could be that. Um, okay. Peter Pan. I watched Peter Pan as a kid. But I never knew Peter Pan as the, you know, peanut butter brand. Jam Smucker Company, which owns Jip, released its most recent if. quarterly earnings in June. The company says, despite a peanut butter recall, net sales of consumer foods, the category this snack falls under, increased by 14%. Growth from this section, the biggest among the company's three U.S. retail segments, lifted the company's overall net sales in the quarter by 10% to $2.24 billion. The largest portion of our growth within consumer foods has definitely been on Uncrustables business. We're projecting to build Uncrustables to a billion dollar brand. What the hell is that? On Uncrustables business. We're Uncrustables. Peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich. Wait, you can buy prim... <laughs> but this is so easy to do, right? Why would people buy this? Because you just have to buy the peanut butter, the jelly, and the bread. And I assume that you may overpay for this to be done. And it's so easy, right? Projecting to build Uncrustables to a billion dollar brand, it will become the largest brand within our consumer foods portfolio. Its stock price reached an all-time high of about $163 in January. Skippy, that's, that's what kind of, that's what calls to me. On the other hand, Stock in Hormel Foods, which owns peanut butter brands Skippy and Justin's, has had a slow start in 2023. Why? Though Hormel Foods' overall net sales declined by 4% in 2023 second quarter, compared to the same quarter a year prior, Skippy, among other brands, grew. Though hmm. peanut butter titans Skippy and Jeff are indomitable, there's a clear piece of the metaphorical peanut butter pie that's cut out for other competitors. When you lump in the top three brands plus private label, you know, you're, you're capturing 85% plus of the peanut butter category. That 22% of the category that is private label, that's fairly comparable with other mainline center store categories. So kind of an average level of market share for those store brands and private label brands. Okay, interesting. Experts disagree who exactly founded peanut butter but most credit farmers in the South who began grinding up their peanut crops into a paste in the 1800s. Really? People have been uh, growing peanuts for like, you know, thousands of years. And the idea that you know, nobody rounded it up in, into a paste until 1894 is you know, probably you know, beggar's belief. If you couldn't uh, ship it long distances, you couldn't store it. You know, it, it would go bad pretty quickly. So sorry, but it's honestly the person that created peanut butter should be super famous because that's a crazy invention if you think about it. Uh, my friends, I have a, a kind of a stupid question, but uh, I saw different answers the other day on my comment section because I was uh, watching other videos that that showed Skippy and then I'm asking, uh, um, should I put my Skippy bottle uh, on uh, the fridge or not? I, 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 it's, whoa, the light is going crazy. 
I don't have my peanut butter on the fridge, uh, but maybe I should. No, I'm not sure, actually. So, uh, hydrogenation is really the key to uh, peanut butter becoming a mass market phenomenon. The first major brand to commercially develop peanut butter was actually Peter Pan in 1920. Peter Pan is the peanut butter eater's peanut butter. Joseph Rosefield, later Skippy's founder, was working with the company for a while. He had a patent Holy. which Peter Pan needed, and at some point he had a falling out with Peter Pan. So he, he yanked his patent, he created uh, Skippy. He started making that in the garage of his home in Alameda. Skippy was founded in 1933 and Jif in 1958. Despite it being the last to launch, Jif has held the title of the most popular peanut butter brand in the U.S. since 1980, when it snatched the lead from Skippy. This part Why do you guys think is that? It's because it's cheaper, tastes better? Partially due to a successful marketing campaign by Procter okay. & Gamble, who owned Jif at the time. Isn't that the peanut butter you want for your family? Right! They get Jif! <laughs> Choosy mothers choose Jif. We have Amazing. held the position, the number one position now for multiple decades. That doesn't come by happenstance. It's definitely by keeping the consumer at the heart of everything that we're doing. But peanut butter's ubiquitous presence in society was solidified during the Great Depression, when its use as a cheap sandwich filling as an alternative to meat became widespread, and World War II, when it was included as part of soldiers' food rations. All the American soldiers who uh had peanut butter in their rations in World War II, who hadn't previously eaten or experienced it, you know, became fond of it and uh, came home and, uh, and started eating it and, and sharing it with your families. Though originally family- You know what, all jokes aside, my friends, this is beautiful. Uh, there is a beautiful meaning about the, the peanut butter sandwich, you know, because uh, look at the history that, this, that that man was sharing. I think this is actually amazing. And peanut butter, for sure, is a symbol of America. It's a symbol of the world at this point, but specific uh, about America. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I find this super interesting. Leave a like if you actually enjoy, enjoy this type of feeds, my friends, because they are a bit more about the history of American food and stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if, if you guys could, uh, for you, it's free and so easy, and for me, it means a lot. Uh, and another thing, I have an Instagram account. I know this is a crazy transition where I've been putting some, another American thing, country music reactions. Uh, I reacted to Dolly, Alan Jackson. So go there to see my reactions to, to those artists. Link below. If you don't have Instagram, no worries. I also have a Facebook page that I put the same things. Follow me at least uh, in, in one. But yeah, links are below on the, on the description. English, yeah. Family owned. Skippy was bought by Best Foods in 1955 and later acquired by Unilever in 2000. Most recently, Hormel Foods, predominantly known for meat products like Spam, purchased the legendary brand in 2013 for $700 million. There Ooh, 700, oh, but it's so famous. There is a lot of untapped opportunity with this brand. We have the opportunity to really put a focus on it and really figure out what is it that makes this brand special and what's gonna help it to grow into the future. That paid off. Now, non-meat proteins make up about 25% of Hormel's total portfolio. The company acquired Justin's in 2016 and Planters in 2021. That was a real pivot for Hormel into kind of a, a non-meat center of store product to help evolve the company into a more consumer product facing company. They, they hold near 20% of the market share today behind that Skippy brand and growth has been consistent with the category since they acquired it. Skippy follows consumer spending habits to cash in on other peanut butter endeavors. That $2 billion industry I mentioned earlier? Yeah, that's just spreadable peanut butter. Consumers are looking for new ways to get peanut butter, not just out of the jar, but in other products as well. So think about baked goods and snacks, ice cream, cereal, all the different places that people enjoy peanut butter today. So there's opportunities for us as a brand to tap into some of those spaces as well and expand and find new areas of growth for this brand. To be honest, this is a great point. My friends, you know, you know what? I would love to have yogurt with peanut butter flavor. That's not a thing, right? At least it's not a thing here. Maybe it's already a thing in America. But yeah, that could be really good. And even ice cream, peanut butter, I think I saw that a couple of months ago in my supermarket. But um, it's also not crazy popular. But there is a lot of potential. 
but but yogurt peanut butter could be a finger. Gippy or Hormel has major competition. Smucker's owns and operates the Uncrustables brand, frozen pre-made PB and J style sandwiches that have helped the company grow exponentially since that brand was acquired in 1998. You have this product expansion into Uncrustables frozen sandwiches that's just been on fire for them and growing very strongly. In fact, that the growth of Uncrustables has added. I do, but see, the thing is, I think this is so easy to do that surprises me that sells. Well, to be honest, there is a lot of things that are easy to do and we still buy it already then. Uh, so kind of makes sense, right? But um, Uncrustables. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Over one point of incremental growth to the company overall in recent years. Uncrustables has been... 20 years in the making. So we love now to look forward and see this incredible growth trajectory to a billion dollar brand. But at the very beginning, there was a lot that needed to be done to what? invest in the R&D behind Wait, 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 wait. But that's so small, actually. So what the hell is this uncrustable thing? <laughs> Basically, this is a peanut butter sandwich, but the name is different. And you know what? You, this is very small. I know my American people love uh, big sandwiches. Uh, anyone watching ever had those? Or is this more for kids? The making of that sandwich. Uncrustables are manufactured in facilities in Colorado and Kentucky. Oh, I A love Colorado and Kentucky. A third location is being added in Alabama. Also Alabama. Oh, it's pretty yummy. Though there was a period of time that non-peanut butter nut butters were gaining share and driving a lot of growth in the category, experts say that has dissipated recently. One of the things that both Jip and Skippy and, and mainline brands have done is develop natural versions of their own under the mainline brand. No sugar. Oh my God. This is the one I have to buy because I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, oh, but no sugar. This probably does not taste that good. Right. Not that the consumer is going to switch from a natural organic brand to Jip, but perhaps keep some consumers within the Jip family. Crazy. <laughs> in many parts of the world, peanut butter is regarded as an unpalatable American curiosity. Though most people conflate peanut butter with America, uh, its popularity is growing elsewhere, like in Mexico and China, or in Canada, where per capita consumption is slowly approaching that of the US. In you know, like I said, my friends, when I was a kid, peanut butter was a fancy thing. There, there was already peanut butter, but it was something that people... I actually remember watching cartoons, and see American cartoons, and they eat peanut, peanut butter. And I was like, why they eat peanuts, you know, in, in a sandwich? I, I, that was so weird to me. Um, but nowadays, I believe uh, at least Portugal is, is getting a lot of American influence, like the entire world, to be fair. But peanut butter is, is very popular uh, right now. As popular as Nutella, like I was saying, I have my doubts, um, but is is getting very popular. In 2022, the U.S. exported about 30 million pounds of peanut butter to Canada. To put that into perspective, that's also about 30 million 16-ounce jars of peanut butter. The world's largest peanut producer by far, China, has already bought into the China? What? The craze, but uses the nut mainly for sauces and oils. Advocates are working to shift that interest towards peanut butter. Oh my God, Skippy selling in China. If we could just get them to consume one pound per capita of peanut butter, they would far surpass what we consume. But uh, it's it's a, an acquired taste for people who don't grow up eating it. Wait, that lady was putting uh, apples with peanut butter. You guys really put peanut butter in everything. During its Q2 earnings, Hormel Foods reported their international earnings were partially offset by lower sales in China, though the company says there is still huge growth potential there. We definitely have a strong presence in China, in Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines. We have pretty aggressive growth plans in, in overseas markets for this brand. But despite a bullish outlook, the industry is facing some risks. In Sorry for another pause, but to be fair, this is really interesting that I said at the beginning that Skippy is the only American brand I can find here. And uh, from the speech they are having, they seem to, to have this idea to import to different. So maybe GIF will become more American-centric, you know what I mean? And um, 
Skippy will become uh, global. 2022, the salmonella contamination forced Smuckers to recall GIF products for months. Oh no. One of our competitors had to exit the marketplace temporarily, and that meant that there was an increased demand for our products. And so, as a result of that, we had to ship everything we could to try to, to satisfy the market. Once we were back on shelf, consumers' passion for this brand and their trust in GIF was tremendous. So we were already back at a number one position. Another risk to the industry is allergies. Around mm. one million children in the U.S. are allergic to peanuts, and only one out of five will outgrow it. Peanut allergies are unpredictable. Severe reactions can occur from even the smallest trace of peanuts. Many schools from elementary to college campuses have created nut-free spaces or completely banned the snack. The categories continue to grow even as the prevalence of allergy or the reporting of the prevalence of allergy has picked up. While it's a threat, it's certainly not impacting sales. With that 90% household penetration rate, brand recognition, and nostalgia, peanut butter is clearly not going anywhere. Oh, never thought about that nostalgia. Yeah, a lot of you guys may still buy it because you, you remember as a kid. They're not lying, that's really crunchy. Yeah, this is great. Its affordability and convenience have kept it stocked in Americans' pantries, even when inflation hits high. If my mom had $5 and we were hungry, then we would go and get us a peanut butter and jelly and bread, and we would be like, good for the week. And so it's turned from a struggle meal to more of like a, just like comfort, you know, guilty pleasure type of meal. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thanks to advances in technology, peanuts continue to be easy and cheap to farm. Yields are 20% higher than they were 10 years ago, and demand continues to increase. The price of a pound of peanut butter is $2.57 today. That's about 27% lower than it was in 1995 when the average price adjusted for inflation was about $3.54, almost a full dollar a pound less. There Holy. aren't many food products out there with that trajectory. So with prices going down, consumers can remain focused on the choice that matters. Creamy or crunchy? Over. Okay, this uh, crunchy thing, I just add, so this, be ready to another culture shock. In my entire life, I just had one bottle and it was not even Skippy because Skippy here, from what I understand, only, only sells creamy. But I had from a different brand, a crunchy version of peanut butter and I was very shocked by it. I did not like it, to, to be honest with you. But the creamy version, I, I think is the best. Uh, but... Do you guys think in America there is a debate between creamy and uh, and crunchy? Overall, we do sell more creamy peanut butter than crunchy. Okay. Uh, but don't tell that to the crunchy fans. They absolutely love it and they would never give it up. I was a creamy kid, <laughs> but now I'm much more of a crunchy guy. I want actual peanuts in my peanut butter. Do you eat peanut butter crunchy or just peanut butter creamy? Just creamy, honestly. It's just... Hmm. Sorry for so many questions, my friends, but this, uh, even though it's not as popular, but you, are you guys aware of Peter Pan uh, brand? Not the the story, but Peter Pan brand, uh, because maybe it's also popular. It just feels better in the mouth, you know? This is the perfect sandwich. I don't think I could ever get sick of this. I could eat this. I could eat three PB and J's going to the day, I think. I have before. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, what a great video, my friends. CNBC. This is a very popular uh, channel in America, right? Uh, why do groceries cost so much? Did I watch that? Okay. Um, actually, before we go, my friends, uh, thank you so much for watching this with me. And the uh, final question. Uh, what is the brand you like the most? Because in America, I believe there is strong competition, right? Jeff, uh, Skippy... Uh, Peter Pan and maybe even other brands that they end up not mentioning. So feel free to share with me the brand you like the most for your peanut butter. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And that way, I also know you end up watching until the end. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye, my friend.